Hey everyone, Solar Primal here. Welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. I got it. I got it on the first one. Usually I screw it up. Okay. So, in the last part we got our first Pokemon. And there we go. And there he is, little Tim Char. He's in here adorable. Look at him. Oh, I love that cry. Capable of taking hits. Yeah. Like a Ooh, he's adamant nature. Yes! Yes! That's a win right there. See that, Kevin? Bring it. If he watches this. I doubt he watches this. I'm mean, watching his because, you know. Who, what compared person wouldn't do it? We also got Ryan shoes, so if you hold B, you can, you know, run around faster if you don't, you know. I'm screwing up all the audio right now. Okay, here we go. Let's go talk to Barry. Too slow, Gordon. I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Roy so I can thank him properly. So, I have a great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that leg where all the Pokemon play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. It'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of it. Me and you together, we got nothing to fear. We have level... You have a level 5, because I kicked your ass. And I have a level 6 Pokemon. Yeah. Such confidence right here. Why don't we just... Okay, yeah, I'm the one controlling. Let, let, let's run. Look at Barry. He doesn't actually run. He's just like walking really fast. He's like, <laughs> all right, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. Even says on the sign. I actually skimmed that sign, but that's okay. What's going on? The flowing time. The expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Allow me to pass. Step aside. Oh, yeah, Bell. We got. <laughs> That's a sneeze. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, Gordon. Let's go catch the little egg Pokemon. That was that was the Pokemon. I guess Barry's not all crazy and messed up in the head a little bit. Did you hear that, Gordon? I did. That was little egg Pokemon crying. That should be it. Okay, Gordon. Now's our chance. Just catch it. What? I don't have anything on us. You know, the Pokemon. P O K X E balls. We don't have any of those. We can't catch Pokemon. You take them on around with us. Do you think Professor Rowan would. Professor Rowan. Do you Give us... Oh god, that's a weird line. Give us somebody if he asked him. You know? Remember what he said, don't you? He said we'd visit him in the lab if we needed anything. Okay, Gordon. I'll race you. First, we have to to fetch the lab in San Jim Town. Rules. Um... Yeah, good, good for you, Barry. There's no amount of you running around that will actually be... Well, you know, I don't care. <clears throat> okay, so... Some interesting plot right at the beginning get go here for us. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. But, yeah, let's just head over to Professor Rowan's lab. Because, yeah, we need Pokeballs. We can't catch anything. Which makes me pissed off when I do a Nuzlocke run of this game. But that's a that's a different story. Because, you know... Find the first Pokemon, you have to catch it. I uh, Pokeballs. Hey, look, Starry. That's cool. I am gonna just battle it because, well, this is our first wild Pokemon encounter. I did not explain anything <laughs> with the controls or anything like that. My bad. So I guess, if you have a look over at the bottom screen there, there's a fight option. You go to your bag. You look at stuff in your bag. I don't have items, so there's nothing to look at. We can run away, which we won't. And then there's 
the Pokemon, which we only have one, so we can't exactly switch out. But that's where you go to switch out, look at the stats of your other Pokemon. And the items you do, the healing and whatnot. But we're just gonna go fight. And we still only have two moves, so... Might as well just use Scratch. Scratch dick. Oh, hey, really? That didn't kill you? Come on, man. Oh, sorry. Faint you? Which I found hilarious. If you make a Pokemon faint, you can't catch them? Sure. Okay. Ah, uh, we almost got a little up there. Okay. So. Okay, we have to go this way. If I run into another Pokemon that's not new, I'm just going to skip it. And if it is new, I'll show it. So we're just going to go running along. Oh, look at that. We made it. Ha ah. Well, hello there, Missy. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. Prof the professor is waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon Research Lab. It's not much, but you know. When you don't get paid, money go has to go somewhere. What? Let's go. Dude. What the? Oh, it's you, Gordon. That old guy. He's not so scary as much as he totally out he, he is totally out there. What? Just like your brain, right? Oh, I get you mad, Gordon. I'm out of here. See you later. But I got what he needed, so... Unless he forgot. Wow! What was that? <clears throat> Don't mix the voices, Gord. Your friend seems to be really impatient. Anyway, let's go inside. It just, it's gonna auto-path me up here, so... Yeah, just, just bring me up there. Let's have a chat with Mr. here. Well, well. Look who's here. Gordon, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Hmm. Hmm. I see. This Pokemon seems to rather ha be rather happy. Hmm. Trusting you to that Chimchar was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Hell yeah! <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. So... I've thought about this nickname for a while. I don't know why I'm actually doing that. I'm using the stylus to write this name in. So, one of the unfortunate things about the these games is they sometimes don't give you just enough writing space, which you will see in the case of me here. So I need two more spots to put Solar Primal in, but I'm not fortunate yet. And luckily he's a male, so I'm not going to call him Solar Prima or Prima. <laughs> I am going to actually call him Solar Prime. And that's the only choice I really can do. Because I'd rather not just call him Solar, because I think I named that on my other fire type in Fire Red. So, eh. Just make him unique that way. Hmm. Okay. I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Y yeah, I've been playing this for a little bit, buddy. When I saw you two about to step into the tall grass without a Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astonished by these foolhardy children. But now, you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already, there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Chimchar feels the same way about you. Aww. That's why, I'll ask you to cherish that Pokemon. That Chimchar of yours. It's, it's a Pokemon, so I wasn't totally wrong. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you aren't, I'd have to yeah, give you five across the face. Oh, I I just can't say. You know, I just said it. <laughs> <clears throat> thank you. I thank you, Professor Rowan. Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want to want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want you to know exactly what kind of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it's necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish for you, wish to ask of you. Oh, oh, I'm having a stroke. No, I'm good. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record all the data of the Pokemon in the Sinnoh region for me? Well, yeah. If you said no, then he's like, oh, okay, maybe I made a wrong choice, and that's it. 
and it will do it automatically so I really don't have to do anything extra. Hmm. Good answer. And he just gives it to us, you know, he's just like, yeah. That Pokedex is very, has a very high-tech device. It will automatically record on every kind of Pokemon data you, every kind of Pokemon you, blah, 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 blah. I got myself all confused. Gordon, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. Catch them too if you could, but I think you're restricted to that this time around. I've got one too. <clears throat> When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? We've lived on, we've lived for 60 long years. I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. That's, uh, that's kind of creepy, dude. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means that there are many thrills awaiting for you out there. Now go, Gordon. Your grand adventure begins right now. That Pokemon that I met... <clears throat> Pokemon I, I met for the first time was a Turk Twig. If you were chosen a Turk Twig on Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. It's true. Yep. She, she picks the... She, she gets leftovers, basically. <laughs> so. Not that that matters, but... Anyways, I'm done. Also, I also help uh, Professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in sense, I'm just like you. I got a little head start on you, that's all. <laughs> I'd be happy to teach you things. I'm glad to meet you, Gordon. Not the other guy, though. Well then, I think we're able to just go. We solved in Gany Pokeballs. Gordon! Oh, jeez, that was a weird voice. I have something good here. You should take this as well. Yay, a TM! What is it? What do I do with it? This is a technical machine. That one contains move return, which is very useless to you right now since you just met your Pokemon. <laughs> Use the technical machine, or TM for short, teaches a move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is single use only until a fifth generation. Spoilers. Oh, jeez. The move return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off on the wish that your journey will be fun. Oh, and it will be. Oh, wow! I didn't even know Professor had TMs! Was he a trainer when he was young? Uh, most likely. Yeah, probably. Okay, Gordon. I'll act as your mentor. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, I've been a bit more experienced than you are as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Oh, good. We're getting this. The tour of what every building does. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. This is a place where Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. And you can find Pokemon Center in most towns that you can fly to. <clears throat> the building with the blue roof here is the Pokemon. Like it's always been. As a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Gordon, since you're a novice trainer, you won't buy any, won't be able to buy any kinds of uh, merchandise. Don't let it bother you. You'll get it eventually. Alright, oh that's right, Gordon. Don't you need to let your family know you're going to be helping Professor Rowan on with the Pokedex? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, before you go, heal your Pokemon up at the Pokemon Center. Uh, it will be a lot less scary that way. Bye now. And she is going to go up there and wait for me to make sure I tell my mom that I'm going on a journey. What are we at for time? Um, let's see what we got here. Dawn's house. Ooh, she's going to have a little peek up. 
No, I'm just kidding. Um, sorry. Don't mean to be creepy. Um, let's see. How much time do we have? Eh. Probably just end the episode off here. We got a, there, a lot happened, but not really progress. We got a Pokedex, and we were told about two buildings that are in most towns. Yay. Kind of want to get going and catch stuff and get into battles, but maybe next time. So, until then, you guys, this is Solar Primal signing out, and bye for now.